Hello everybody and welcome to HD Piano. My name is Dan and in this lesson I'll teach you how to play Amsterdam by Coldplay and we'll look at the intro and verse in this first video. They sound like this. Three, four. Alright, such a lovely song from Coldplay off their 2002 album, A Rush of Blood to the Head. Uh, you can find the rest of this lesson at hdpiano.com, but we're going to learn a ton of it in this single video here. Got a question for you guys. I want to know what the first Coldplay song you learned was. Uh, I can't quite remember, but this is certainly one of the first. Um, I learned Amsterdam when I was maybe uh, 15, I think, back in 2005 or thereabout. Uh, what was the first Coldplay song you learned? Comment below. All right, so like I said, this intro and verse covers a ton of this song, and it's just a really beautiful, lush piano part. We're starting just above middle C in the right hand, and we're on B flat, E flat, G. And we'll look at just the right hand first. So we play twice on this E flat chord, and we drop the top two notes to D and F. This gives us a B flat chord. Play two, two counts on this. So one, two, one, from there, the right hand sort of becomes two lines. It has this chord on top holding, and then the bottom note is separating from it. So we have B flat, C, and F to start. And then I use my thumb to go down to A and F, and then the whole chord shifts to A flat there. And we have a quick drop off of G there before we repeat all that. So let's look at those two measures again really slow. Ready, and E flat, B flat, F with the moving line, A flat. And then it repeats. On the repeat, we don't play that G. Here's the third repeat, or the third time. It's the same as the first. And the fourth time, we have this nice melodic um, change of pace here. It's the same E flat chord, and then we play. So that's E flat, and then the top note is E flat, F, F, D. Now we have C and F, B flat, down to an F chord, which is A, C, F, and then ending on this root position A flat major chord. So that's the entire right hand for the intro, and most of the intro carries through the verse. So let's go, go over the entire right hand intro again slowly. Ready, and. Now I'm going to play hands together just so you can see how the right and left hands fit together and then we'll dissect the left. Here we go. Ready, intro, hands together.
Okay, so really nice supportive left hand. Uh, even have some sort of carryover lines happening. So let's look at it. E flats to start. Then we have like kind of pickup notes, which would mean they, um, they come directly before this B flat chord. We have e flat, F, and then we land on B flat, D, F. So one, two, and a one, two, and a. So then we have two more pickup notes on D and F that take us down to a lower F and then up to an A flat. So that's sort of the two measure cycle that you'll see a lot of. Again, that's this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's repeat. Two, three, four. One, two. And on the second time, we have this little melody line. We play A flat, E flat, and then Jump up to G, F, E flat. Okay, and then we're back to where we started. Here's the third time. One, two, three. And on the fourth time of the intro, one, two. We just play a single E flat, and then a B flat and D, and then F, F, A flat. Okay? So there's a lot of repetition happening here with just a few little nuance differences. Um, here's the entire left hand intro slowly. Three and four and one and two and three and four and two, three, four, one and two and one and four and one, two, three. Hands together, intro, super slow, same tempo. Ready, and. Intro. Now let's listen to see how it changes for verse one. Here we go. Come on, oh my stars fade, and I swear of control. Okay, so it is almost identical. I would say it's a simplified uh, run through the intro. The first verse is a simplified intro. Um, so the chords remain pretty much the same. We've got this E flat chord here. Now we don't have pickups in the left hand, so listen. Right? So instead of... Right? So here it is, verse 1. E flat to B flat, just less going on in the left hand. That's familiar, right? Now that should look familiar because that happened in the intro at one point. That's ripped directly from the intro. Okay, so point being, <clears throat> what we've learned in the intro is going to get us through all of the verses, verse one, two, and three, uh, which only, uh, excuse me, which only leaves the choruses after that, and those are also quite repetitive. So even though this song has this huge development over you know three and a half minutes, um, it's the same couple measures for the most part repeated throughout. Really exciting, and I think. 
that actually does it. I'm just thinking through this. I think that does it for variations on the intro and verse. There isn't much variation. So when you see me play it in the third and final video, the whole song run through, um, it's going to be just like it was recorded. And we've already seen everything that, that uh, there is to see in this video. So let's send off like this. I'll play intro and I'll play the first verse. That'll cover everything that we need to know, okay? Here we go at recorded tempo. 76, two, three, intro verse. that we have an intro again to sort of set us up for verse 2 and guess what verse 2 is verbatim and intro it's the intro exactly as it occurred the first time we heard it so that's it guys that rounds out this lesson on the intro and verse to Amsterdam by Coldplay we do have a couple other videos at hdpiano.com, so head that way to finish the lesson. If you are on YouTube, give us a thumbs up, comment below uh, with your thoughts, and find us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We love hearing from you guys. It's been a pleasure so far. I'm Dan, and I'll see you at hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson.